It's, um, let's say, 11.42 at the IBC on a Sunday, and we're at the Rye in Amsterdam. But who's next to me? Who are you? I'm Glenn Pedersen. I work as the Chief Commercial and Product Officer in Vimon Media Solutions. Yeah, and we're at the stand at the booth here in Amsterdam. What number are we here? We are at the C13, I believe. Yeah, and uh, these are many companies from Bergen. Yes, yeah. Yes, Bergen Norway has a large cluster of media companies. Uh, so it's um, yeah, a very um, innovative uh, environment in uh, in Bergen. Yeah. And Vimont, you say Vimont is a company that really works on what kind of productions, what kind of tools? So we provide the backend services and software for uh, OTT. Online services, uh, we do uh, cloud editing, uh, vi video CMS, uh, live capture, etc. How's your experience here in Amsterdam? First time here? This is my 21st year. First time in 1998. So I've been both uh, on as a customer and now as a vendor. And how do you experience this? Uh, Amsterdam is great. It's, it's a great uh, exhibition for us. So uh, you have a lot of talks today, a lot of meetings maybe. I don't know, you go to some conferences, some uh, presentations? No, it's back-to-back -back meetings. It is. Yeah, it's very busy, but that's a very good thing. A little bit about the product. Can you tell me a bit specifics? Sure. Uh, so uh, we come from a broadcast background. Uh, a lot of us uh, used to work in TV2 uh, in Norway, the largest commercial broadcaster. Uh, we founded a company in 2011. Uh, I was one of the co-founders. Um, so it's uh, spun out uh, as a, from a need that the broadcaster had, uh, especially in the OTT space. So what we provide is the online CMS, video CMS for uh, OTT services. We do monetization and we now added also cloud editing, uh, both for OTT and also for broadcast. So everything is about having an efficient workflow and working as efficiently as possible. What was told to me is that you had to buy data from Norway TV2 or something. Can you tell me about that? Uh, uh, you had to buy your space or data because it was one and now, now it's changed? I'm not sure uh, what you referenced to, the, to, to data. Well, that was told to me that uh, you had to buy data from the TV2 space and then you can use that and then you can work on that platform. All right, so, so we provide uh, the, so the TV, OTT service for TV2 is technology that we use. So we used to be that, that's how we started. So we were the engine behind TV2 Sumo, which is the OTT service. So then we spun out and then our uh, TV2 is, is both an owner and a customer. Hmm. So actually it's both positions. How does that work? Because you need change in the product, you need innovation, uh, you need more people together with uh, other kind of opinions or something? Yeah, but we are strictly a vendor. So TV2 is, is just a customer for us. So we don't provide the service ourselves. We only provide the technology. What is the request nowadays from TV2? Because there are many uh, producers in it, there's uh, the public or? Yeah, TV2, they, they have their request. It's uh, quite similar to all of our other customers. We have uh, customers all over the world. Um, so we have offices in, in San Francisco, New York, Sydney. Um, Ranging from broadcasters, um, telcos, uh, and also greenfield projects. But what do they request? What's their demand? What do they want from you? What's their most important thing they use from you? The most important, I think all of them are using our video CMS. So having one place to have all the metadata, uh, both from broadcast, external systems, and then you have one place to have all the, your uh, metadata and uh, all your video. Uh, so um, in every quality, rights management, etc. And how about independent journalism? Is that possible in this platform? Is it? Yeah, for, so uh, our main market is larger T1 customers. So bigger broadcasters, telcos, uh, and large... Press agencies. Yeah, mm, rights holders. Mm. And um, for the last question, how do you see the future? Because in these 21 years already, uh, there's so much change, of course, and you can talk about it. Uh, but... Let's say, what do you want to change? What is your position on a, on a wish list? I think you, we can look back at when we decided to spin off the company. In 2008, we started discussing this because then we saw this enormous change in how you consume TV. Uh, you consume, then you used to consume TV only on your TV, on a linear channels. And then we saw that extreme shift into on-demand, 
and streaming online. It's the same thing. We, that shift hasn't been uh, completed yet, and it's just, you really see now the, the, the enormous change. So there's still a lot that's going to happen there. Yeah, we can say we love cloud and we're very happy that it works. Uh, it even goes to 4K and 8K, so the quality is higher and higher. But there is a wish in your list. So can you say some kind of future prospect of what you want to change? Yeah. Uh, the whole concept of a linear channel. So yeah, there's uh, still a mass, massive consumption of linear channels. But when we see at the future gen generations coming, they're not really consuming TV in that area. And right now, there's a, uh, we consume media online, usually on either VOD, uh, you select something and, and stream it, or traditional li linear channels. There has to be a change and building those linear channels in a different way with uh, how OTT works, with all those possibilities personalized channels, all of that is really exciting. Thank you very much. No problem.